In my book, I tell this story about, it's, it was like a defining moment for me when I was a, a kid. I was in fourth or fifth grade. They had this thing they called the blob. And I remember the first year I went, I saw this thing, the blob, and it was just like this giant inflatable rectangular pillow. There it is. Okay. The blob is amazing, first of all. And it, it, it's, it functions with the same physics that you would use kind of for a catapult where you have one guy will sit on the right side of the blob, and then this guy on the platform on the left will jump and land on the left side of the blob, and as the air transfers from one side to the other, it shoots the guy on the end uh, into the air. And you can see this guy is like, what is, he got, he got up there. So as a kid, I'm there and I'm looking at this blob thing, and I'm thinking, I gotta do that. I gotta do that, it looks awesome. That looks also scary, what if I get, what if I belly flop? What if I get a kid and I get launched into the air? And I'm just like, all this stuff is going through my mind. And so I'm just like staring at the blob. I'm like, I gotta, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. And I just keep talking and keep talking and spinning my wheels. And do I do it? No. I pass and like a whole year goes by and every once in a while I think about this blob thing and was it fun, it would have been cool. Well, the next year our youth pastor, one of the guys that went with our youth group or children's group was this guy we called Big Mike, and I'm looking at this blob thing again, kind of scared, kind of wanting to do it, and Mike comes up and he's like, you want to go on that blob, don't you? And I was like, yeah, I do. He's like, you should go on that. I was like, I know I should, but I don't know. It kind of looks kind of scary. He's like, you should do it. He's like, come on, let's do it. You should go do it, man. I was like, he's like, I'll watch. You go do it. I was like, okay, all right, I'll go. So I go and I'm really scared now. And like, you know, this platform, you know, it, it doesn't look that high from here, but if you've ever been on top of a platform looking down, it does get scarier. And I'm standing up there looking down and then all of a sudden I see this little kid at the end of the blob and he looks back at me terrified and somehow that made all of my fear go away and I turn into this like wolf and I'm like, yeah, and I jump and I launch this kid and it feels so empowering and awesome and then I kind of like, Scoot to the end, and I'm wondering who's coming up behind me, and then I turn back, and it's 240-pound Big Mike. And I look back, and I'm like, oh, no. And I go, Mike! And keep in mind, I'm like 9 or 10. You know, I'm like a little guy. I'm skin and bones Jones. I am just like the littlest. And I go, Mike, no! Mike, no! No! And he does this like, ah! You know, jumps from the platform, lands, and I'm like, Mike, no! And like... And when I hit the water, it was like a pancake hitting a pan. It was brutal and it hurt. And getting launched high in the air and belly flopping and all that stuff, it all happened. All of it, all the, as the worst version of everything I was afraid of happened. And when I got out of the water, how do you think I felt? Yeah, I didn't feel, I didn't feel more scared. I didn't feel frustrated. I was in pain and laughing, right? See, see, that's what happens when we do scary stuff in, in life is, you know, something changes within us, just a little bit. You know, the, the, the worry and the fear that I had about this thing I really wanted to do, it went away. And by the way, we just kept doing the blob all day, right? Because now we're not afraid anymore. I, got, I had the biggest guy in the group launch me, right? In fact, I wanted him to do it again, see if I could get higher. <laughs> and this is, this is the change, is that we go from worry to desire to do more. Our world gets bigger when we do scary things. Our world gets, see, everything seems more possible when we do scary things. Something changes in our thinking and then that changes the rest of our life.